My name is Colin, and I'm going to be showing you how to use Blender. We're going to be talking about everything from Blender's basic interface all the way up to creating a full length or maybe a short 3D animation. Uh, and you move your mouse, and that's how you get around and navigate in your 3D viewport. If you, scro if you sc scroll your mouse wheel, that's how you zoom in and out. So scrolling your mouse wheel zooms in and out, pressing and holding it, moving your mouse, that zooms around your 3D scene. Um, and I can use the rotation gizmo to rotate. Um, rendering is really quick and simple in Blender. All you have to do is press F12 on your keyboard, and you get a new Blender window, and it renders. Uh, we have at the top here, the top little bar here, is called our information window. And it actually ha it holds, you know, all the obvious things, like your main, your main toolbar. Um, but if you grab the edge of it and drag it down, you're going to see all these extra preferences. This is where all your uh, preferences and options are for Blender. If you're wondering where all those things work, they are in pretty much every program. Um, but these ones are especially hidden, and you would never find it if you didn't know. In the middle here, this is our big 3D viewport window. I think it's called the 3D view window. And down here we have what's called the button window. And the button window holds a lot of like the preferences and little check boxes and things that we can do in our scene. But any of these windows can be changed and we can add or subtract and divide any of the windows that we like. So we could have a whole ton of windows or we could have just one at a time. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go to view front in this 3D viewport window. Um, and I could divide it in half. Let's say I wanted to have two 3D viewports, one here and one on this side, I bought one of them to display different things in my scene. So what I would do is I would take, uh, I would right click on the divider, um, or the top or bottom of the, of the uh, actually at the top of the window, and say split area. And I clicked on the top because I want the divider to stem from the top and go downwards. Split area, and I let us choose where we want that divider to be. And it just gave me two new uh, 3D viewport windows. Great, so I could have a 3D perspective uh, view in this window and have, let's say, view from the... Oops. And let's make a duplicate circle, so Shift D to duplicate. Now I want to restrict my movement now to the Z axis from the original point where it was created. So I'm going to press Z. And that restricts me, no matter how I move my mouse, to moving it on the z-axis. So, so because we already have these three objects selected, let's duplicate them, shift D. So we go to our shading tab, and now in all of these tabs there are usually subcategories. So in the shading tab, there are subcategories. There's a light one, a materials one, gray right now. If we click on it, we can choose whatever color we want. I can choose any color I want, but just drag this circle down to the white area. So I'm in edit mode, I'm selecting faces, and I'm going to extrude with the E key a um, little bit more. Let me show you what it looks like in edit mode. There we are. The first thing we have to do is turn on automatic keyframe insertion. And what that'll do is, um, if we make a change to an object's orientation, so either it's rotation, location, or scale, uh, Blender will, will record that and put a keyframe little bit and rotate his legs down. I'm gonna press 1 to go to my front view. He walks from point A to point B. I'm gonna play that back really quickly. There he is. It's not the best animation, in fact it's far from it. So I'm gonna show you a quick three-point lighting setup. Alright, let's take a look. I'm gonna press F12.
as looking marginally better.